uh, tell us about what kind of deals you're going to get today, Ohio Valley Couponer. Um, got several really good ones at Rite Aid and probably CVS too. Um, everything at Rite Aid should be like five bucks at the end, so okay. it'll be good. Well, happy Thanksgiving to all your uh, subscribers. Yes. The Ohio Valley Couponer. It's uh, Leary and Erie out here this morning with no traffic. Or very little traffic. Person at all. You're not really an afternoon or evening either, are you? <laughs> Can't believe you asked to come. You're not a coupon, but there's gotta be something in it for you. I'm just not sure yet. Well, let's see if I get any last minute Christmas gift ideas for you. Alright. At Rite Aid, ready to do this. Let's do this. I'm almost 15 minutes late and there's still like nobody here. So there's like one car, which I'm pretty sure I saw this lady's car last year. So it's like the same, the same bunch of us every year. So yeah, let's do this. Here's why I should have come 15 minutes early. I've been here at opening. Some lady literally came in here and cleared out all the palm olive. <sighs> so now I gotta see if I can find the Fabuloso, but I really didn't want that. I would have rather had the, um, you know, I would have rather had the palm olive because that's something we'd use more, but they do have some fabuloso left, but not enough to max out the deal. So, joy. And I guess it's the day of thanks. I should just be thankful for what I was able to get. And I am. So, definitely. But the only downfall is now I have to totally readjust my trip and um, figure it all out. So, yeah. When you spend like forever looking for something and it's literally right in front of your face. Fun. Okay, so done at Rite Aid. I'm just gonna grab some gift cards that are on the gift card deal and then I'm out. I have to adjust the haul because it was not, um, they were out of a couple things and you guys all know how that always goes, but it's all good. It honestly really is all good. So this is what I'm leaving with at Rite Aid. Quite a bit of stuff, so I'm really happy. And I should get back like a lot of bonus cash. Okay, so gonna run into CVS. It's honestly pretty boring, but I'll get a couple of things. Okay, so this is it for CVS. This is not even close to as exciting as Rite Aid was, but I'm still gonna make do. Out of pocket, all this stuff should barely even be like $2, which I'm happy with. I mean, that's definitely worth it. All right, guys, done at CBS. totally done Black Friday shopping for today. And it was, you know, it was all right. <laughs> it definitely wasn't like it used to be, but I still got some really good deals, so I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. You wouldn't know if I got good deals. You ran out to the car every time I started checking out because you're so embarrassed by it. Well, this Thanksgiving, these poor people have to be made to work. So you do that on a normal a day. Yes, I do on how we check out too. Go wrong. Which it did, but we worked through it. So, anyways, done at the drugstores. We're gonna run through McDonald's and get him a coffee and me a hot chocolate because I don't drink coffee. I think coffee's nasty. So, gonna go and get a hot chocolate. Um, I mean, everything worked out pretty good. The only issue I had was CBS. I got a 40% off CRT and apparently wasn't valid till next week or something. So I ended up paying a little bit extra, but it was okay. I got several things of paper towels and toilet paper. So that's always a really good day when I can get stuff like that on the cheap. Let's turn this thing off. So it's, it's hot. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's up. And I'm just rambling, rambling too much. Thank you for choosing McDonald's. We'd be using the mobile app today. No. I'll take your order whenever you're ready. Okay, I want a... Um, a large coffee? A large black coffee. Uh-huh. And just a hot chocolate. A large hot chocolate? Yes. Anything else today? That'll be it. $4.48 at the first window, please, and thank you. Thank you. Well, there's no place like home for the holiday. Putting you out on the floor. What's that? You singing. You don't care. Thank you. You too. So we're done at McDonald's. Got the hot chocolate here. This is huge. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this big, but whatever. I guess that's why it was three bucks. But 
I do hate well, three dollars, Nick, because of the very festive cups that they provided. Would have been the traditional cups that probably would have just been a buck a piece, but got to make some money on these festive. They cups. are they are nice. Yeah. They get you in the holiday mood, but I mean, I do definitely. I got to admit, I do feel kind of bad being out on Thanksgiving. I just wish everybody closed and they did it on Friday. But the way Rite Aid was, especially if I would have waited, I would not have got the free things because there were so many people like flooding in. Like not like so many, but for Rite Aid, I mean, you got I me. Mean, it was pretty busy for them. Didn't you think? Right. There's a lot of random couponers, especially floating in. So if I wouldn't have went, I already missed out on the Palm Olive. But if I wouldn't have went this morning, you know, I would have not got the freebies. So they were all really nice. And hopefully, hopefully Rite Aid and CVS do something good for their employees today as a thank you for being there and working on Thanksgiving. I definitely do hate it. I don't really see the point for it. I think that we could just do it on Black Friday just the same. But the bottom of the, at the end of the day, they're just, they want to make their money. So I guess they'll do whatever they have to. Even Walmart closed today. But these drugstores decided to stay open. Big Lots decided to stay open. Like, who wants to go to Big Lots on Thanksgiving? But apparently somebody half tempted to drive by if so many people are even there. But definitely, definitely um, feel bad. But anyways, we're going to head on home now. Probably gonna put on the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. I'm five minutes late. I've not watched that in years, honestly, because I used to never miss it. But when I started couponing, the deals got so good that I ended up couponing during the parade. But now that the deals aren't the best again, there is time to watch the Macy's Parade. So I'm gonna put it on. I also am gonna make some copycat Bob Evans glazed carrots in the crock pot, which sounds amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and make that when i get home and i'll show you guys that recipe and yeah that'll be really awesome so yup that's kind of what is up now all right so back from the stores and everything it's like 10 ish i've been watching the parade but now i'm gonna put on these crock pot bob evans copycats glazed carrots i love the glazed carrots at bob evans when they actually do them right so i'm going to make it myself like how much better can you get than that so i'm gonna double it so baby carrots brown sugar salt butter in water and so i'm just going to do it in the crock pot so it's going to be good so it's two to three hours so that should work and yes yeah, so that is just what i'm going to do now and i'm going to make this recipe i'm super excited all right so here's how it all looks just brown sugar butter carrots a little bit of regular sugar and salt that's pretty much it so this looks amazing i just hope it turns out so i'm going to put it on the crock pot on high for two to three hours so moment of truth all right, it is 12.25, and we are running to Kroger because out of everything we bought yesterday, like, we bought so much stuff, we forgot ice, so not not too happy about it, but poor Kroger. But I've been everywhere else today, so what's one more place going to hurt? It's literally as busy as a normal day in here, which is so weird. I thought there'd be no one here, but there's just tons of people doing their regular grocery shopping, like... Did someone say my name? Okay, I don't know. So many people are just doing their normal grocery shopping. Like, it's not a different day. So, I don't really know. Interesting observation. Since I had to run in here anyway, I'm just going to get this pomegranate flavored pop. Because I don't know if it's the same as the cranberry. I'm hoping. But I always like to have this kind of stuff on the holidays. And they're out of cranberry here on this. So, this will do. Getting this in ice. And we are leaving. Alright, so all the Thanksgiving food it smells awesome we got ham going here well it's not going it's done my grandma's that wasn't good for the camera my um grandma's stuffing going not sure what this is oh sweet potatoes the famous ham gravy we like have to have this my grandma makes the best ham gravy ever at christmas we made a very big mistake and accidentally used cream of tartar but we made sure to use the right stuff there's a big big difference so cornstarch and then we got the carrots, which we're gonna have to probably finish on the stove because they just aren't getting done fully on the crock pot. Like they're getting there, but they need some help finishing. So we're gonna put those on the stove top and finish boiling them. My mamma made her homemade bread. And we also have some rolls that I got for free couponing. So this is awesome. And then the rest of my family is bringing some stuff. So my aunt and uncle, they're bringing homemade noodles, um, mashed potatoes, green bean casserole, my cousin Corey made the turkey and corn pudding. So, deviled eggs, yes. Um, his wife Summer made deviled eggs. So we have so much food this year. It's quite a bit, and there's not even as many of us as, as many of us here 
because my cousin Katie uh, and her husband's not going to be able to join us for this because they have another family Thanksgiving. So there's not even as much of us, but we have more food. So what's that about? But anyways, guys, yeah, that's kind of what's up. I'm so excited. Just like 20 minutes out from getting to eat. Yes, so ready. I'll be sure to film my plate when we're all ready to eat. I couldn't forget we have pie. So we have pumpkin pie and apple pie. Yum, yum, yum. All right, so look who showed up, finally. No, I sent a text at 11 a.m. saying I would be here around 6, and then I showed up at... Around 6. Around 6. I guess. I didn't so, believe you'd actually be able to show up, because you have, like, 40 people at your house. Derek's there. He's holding down the fort. He'll be fine. All right, well, Katie's here for another Thanksgiving. My aunt's here. My uncle's here. My mom's here. My grandma's here. She's never been on, but I'm going to make you get on because I love you. <laughs> my grandpa's here. I did not get the babies. Oh, no. But we're all having another, like, what time is it? It's like 7.08. We're having another dinner because second, that's just what we do. Second dinner. How second do I, dinner. How do I get these uh, Bob Evans carrots out? Well, here's a spoon. Just scoop them out. Okay. Anyway, he told me they were good. They are. They taste just like Bob Evans, I think. They're really good. So anyways, we're eating it up. I don't think I've like filmed since lunch. And so not too much has happened, to be honest. I have I taken a very long nap, which was very nice. I, I fell down. You and told them that I wasn't going to show up. I didn't say that necessarily. I just said you had another Thanksgiving obligation, so you weren't coming. Which I guess that's exactly what that means, huh? I literally said I was coming, and then you turned around and said that. I'm just offended. Whatever. All right, but anyways, we are, um, had dinner, had lunch, took a very nice nap. Um, My noodles weren't quite And that's good. pretty much the event. So, yeah, going to eat good. round two and just hang out, and I'll catch up with you guys after that. All right, guys, it is Black Friday now, November 26th, and I am out doing a little bit of shopping. Not too much, I don't think. I'm not exactly sure where all I'm going to go. It's freezing cold right now. It's snowing. It's cold, but anything for deals, right? We're starting at Sam's Club. I don't even know if there's any deals here. I've not even looked at any ads or anything. We just need some groceries, and I need some business supplies. So to Sam's Club we go. So that's where we're going to start out today. Okay, so down at Sam's Club, and they had two samples that were awesome. They had creamy vanilla ice cream, which was so creamy, it was awesome. And they also had apple turnover samples, so that made it worth it. And then got, my mom is super nice and is grabbing me this for Christmas, this sunbeam heated throw. I'm excited for that. That'll be nice to have, especially when it gets freezing cold like it is right now. So that's good. I also got my grandma a gift and... Um, we got some groceries and I got the iron-on sheets for the business. So yeah, lots of lots of uh, purchases at Sam's Club. Look what my mom's using out of the stores now. She got the coupon wallet off of me. Do you like it? Love it. You love it. So she's got it organized by like stores and stuff. So you can keep your little coupons organized and your cards and receipts and all the things. So do you like it? I love it. Love it. All right. Okay, so ran over to Subway just to grab some lunch. I had a gift card um, that I got from Rite Aid last week, so, or this week, so it worked out really good. So gonna have this for lunch and then probably head back out shopping again. Go home and finish up some Etsy orders to send out and then go back out shopping and send those out. All right, guys, it's a little bit after 2.30 now and I'm currently en route to the post office to drop off seven different orders, which is awesome. Um, two of them were already outstanding orders that had come in before Black Friday, and then five of them actually were today. I had five orders for the Black Friday sale so far, so I'm getting all those out today, which is awesome. I'm so excited to be able to ship those out early, um, but I'm getting those out, and so it helped that I had a lot of production done because I could literally just go in and grab them out of my pre-done inventory, and boom, like it was that easy. So I'm able to get out every order thus far that has come in today. It is going out at the post office today, which is so exciting. So, friendly reminder, if you guys haven't heard, I do have a huge sale going on in my Etsy shop all weekend long, actually clear through Monday for my Etsy store, OVC Designs. I have items ranging from 20 to 40% off. It is amazing when I let the ad flash up on the screen. We have our couponing tote bags for 40% off. We have our couponing 
either full size lists or the mini lists. Those are 40% off. We have t-shirts and hoodies. Those have not really been a big seller, which I'm kind of surprised because so many of you said you really wanted that kind of stuff. So, um, but I've not really had a whole lot of sales in that today. So definitely check those out, the couponing t-shirts and hoodies. And then of course the crowd favorite, which are the wallets. Those are 25% off. So tons of items on sale and the couponing onesies are also on sale as well for $8, which is 20% off. So everything in the shop is on huge sales. The best prices I've ever been able to offer in my shop are going on right now. So definitely check that out. I will have my shop link down in the description. So remember that. Um, so heading to the post office and then Rite Aid is right by my post office. So I'm going to go to Rite Aid. I have $51 in bonus cash today, which is amazing. So I'm totally gonna do that. Then I am gonna go to Kohl's. I need to go to Kohl's um, because if you guys saw my video from Wednesday, I had a um, little competition with Saving with Christina. It was a competition to see who could have the best Walmart haul and she did win. So as a result, I have to go in Walmart next week for my couponing haul, sporting an ugly sweater. Yeah, and Kohl's has such an ugly sweater. So I'm gonna go to Kohl's, get this super ugly sweater today. Um, it's on a really good Black Friday sale. If I'm still up for it, I might go to the mall if I'm still up for it. I don't know. I really don't know how much I'm gonna be up to doing, honestly. I feel like I'm gonna hit a wall where I'm just like over it. That's why I'm cool going and, you know, looking around the stores today and seeing if I run into any good deals or anything that I personally wanna grab. So that's exciting. Um, I'm not sure how busy. Let me know in the comments, did you guys do any shopping today? I feel like the Black Friday trends are so far down, like just off polls and things I've seen. A lot of people are out shopping. Like it honestly has been pretty busy here, just based off of what I've seen and where I've been. Like Hobby Lobby's parking lot was filled to the brim with people. Um, Sam's Club was pretty busy, honestly. So it looks like it's still pretty Black Friday intense here, but I've seen a lot of other people say they're just not going out this year. There's nothing they want or they don't feel like it's as good, which I get that, I, I do totally get that. I don't feel like it's as good as it once was. So, you know, take that as you will. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments, did you go out Black Friday shopping? I'd love to hear it. So yeah, guys, that's kind of what's up um, right now. And I'm gonna get down to the post office and mail these out. And if I have my post office key, which I should, but I, I don't know, I might've took it inside. If I took it inside, I can't check it, but I'd like to check my PO box while I'm down here as well. And then I'll run to Rite Aid. So I'll catch up with you guys when we get to Rite Aid, most likely. All right, so I made it to Rite Aid for like my once a year, twice a year trip. I honestly can't even tell you, I don't really come to Rite Aid too much unless it's the holidays. Like from 2020 to 2021, the last time I probably was here was Black Friday last year. So pretty crazy, but I'm back. Y'all, I am literally having a shopping spree up here at Rite Aid today. Like, I'm like so excited. So the first thing I found are my favorite Ocean's Halo noodles. I love these things so much, so much. Ever since we got them couponing, I've literally fallen in love with them. They're $3.99, that's actually cheaper than Kroger. So that's awesome, I'm happy with that. I'm using bonus cash. I'm gonna do the Palm Olive deal, they're two for five, and you get back $3 when you buy two, so it makes them two for $2. I'm doing the Arm & Hammer, we need more scent beads. These are $7.69, buy one, get two free. So $7.69 for all three, then I get a dollar bonus cash, so that's good. I'm picking up this, I've wanted this for a long time actually, to put my iPad on, it's a pillow pad, so you literally can put it on your iPad. And I have an iPad now, so this is perfect. This is $9.99, half off. Awesome, awesome price. Then I'm also grabbing some toys. Our church is doing a toy drive for underprivileged children or whatever in the area. So this, um, they have really good prices. So I'm getting this animal band one. This is $4.99. I'm getting this Emily doll. This is $7.49. I'm gonna go ahead and also buy this microphone. This is $4.99. This clay racers, these are $4.99. Some moon sand wannabe stuff. This is $6.49. And I'm actually gonna get my cousin's um, son this wooden cars for $4.99 as well. Because I know they actually they both like to play with cars, so they'll both love that. But yeah, I need to see uh, probably well over the $51 that I have, but I'm cool with that. I'm good to pay out of the Christmas sinking fund I have for the toys. Like I'll be totally cool with that. But um I am so excited, guys. I'm literally so excited. So excited. I made the mistake of pressing on this thing and now it won't shut up. Seriously, it won't stop. Okay, so I also decided to get this Duracell Optimum batteries. These are on Black Friday for $14.99. I have a three off one coupon, so that's great. 
And then this is an impulse. Earlier at Sam's Club, I saw an air, a big air hockey table and I remembered how much fun it used to be to play air hockey. And so I decided to get this little tabletop one so that I could play air hockey. So what you gonna do? And that's $14.99. So get me out of here, Nick, get out of this place. All right, guys, done it right in, and it was an awesome trip. I was so exciting. Like, that was an awesome haul. I ended up getting well over $100. I mean, my subtotal after my coupon came to 102 and that's with all of the sales. And I believe every single thing I got today was a sale. I believe everything, except for those noodles. That wasn't a sale. But pretty much everything else was on sale. So well over, probably more like $150 worth of stuff out of pocket. I just paid 50 bucks. So that was pretty decent. I'm happy with that. I did get $7 bonus cash back. So I'll be having to go down to Rite Aid and use that. Whether I, I might, you know, I might try to stay in the Rite Aid game a little bit and roll some bonus cash and do some deals, you know, with that $7. Or if I decide not to, I'll just spend it out on something. I honestly gotta say, I feel like Rite Aid is my favorite out of the three drug stores for just general merchandise. Their stores are so clean. I love how Rite Aid's set up. It's so clean. It's never busy at all. All the employees are really nice. I just really like Rite Aid a lot. And I feel like they have great stuff. Like they have a literally an entire organic section. And so they have those Ocean's Halo noodles that I love now after we got them couponing. They have them there at Rite Aid. What other drugstore could I get that? I can use my bonus cash on it. So it's just really cool. I feel like Rite Aid's a great place to shop. So good time over at the Rite Aid. So change of plans. I'm meeting my mom at Walmart. She um, is going to check out the deals. So I thought I'd just run in there with her real quick and see what's going on at Walmart. So anyways, I'm going to Walmart praying for me that this isn't going to be crazy because she said it was super busy. So here goes nothing. All right. So we're at Walmart now and... They still have a lot of stuff, and there's really not that many people here, to be honest. But they got lots of stuff still, so yeah, just kind of checking it out. Nothing particular in mind, just kind of checking it all out. I kind of cleared out Rite Aid a little bit, so there's not a whole lot more stuff I need. Okay, so I ended up getting some socks for six bucks. These will actually be good for church because they just have like a dress sock material on the bottom, so that'll work. I got just some regular socks. I actually ended up getting myself the shower Bluetooth radio. I like to listen to music a lot while I'm taking a shower, but it's kind of hard to hear through my phone when, um, you know, when the water's running or whatever. So I'm gonna pick that up. It's on Black Friday deal. I'm getting this detangler actually as a um, gift. I'm doing a sponsor a child thing through a um, thing our church is a part of. So I'm gonna pick that up. That's only like three bucks. And I'm getting my grandma these socks for six bucks. And that's kind of the excitement of Walmart. All right, so at Kohl's now, I found the perfect ugly sweater for the, I told you guys, the thing with Christina. This is hideous. This is absolutely hideous, but the hilarious thing is, is I'm gonna wear it for the video, and I'm gonna give it to my grandma, and she's gonna love it. Like, I know she's going to absolutely love this. It is, yeah, she will wear anything with cats on it. So she's going to love it. So at least it'll have a good purpose after I do the ugly sweater challenge thing for my video. Okay, I also grabbed this tie that was on sale and I got an extra 15% off of everything. So it wasn't too bad of a deal. Plus I used my gift card from Rite Aid to um, cover it, cover some of it. So that was a good deal. All right, guys, it is like 6.30 or something. And I'm now out at the mall. One last stop for the night. I went home and ate first actually, and then I just went back out because I wanted to check out the mall's Black Friday sales and kind of just see what's all marked down and everything. So I figured I'd come check it out real quick. So that's kind of what I'm doing. There's a lot of sales, like literally everything looks like it's on sale um, in this store. So I'm just kind of gonna look around and see if I find anything that calls my name. But yeah, it is freezing. I am so cold, so. Not fun, but anyway, that is kind of what's up. The mall is really busy. I've not seen this mall busy in a very long time, but it's really busy. Um, quite a few cars, so we'll kind of see what happens. I figured it would be, I mean, it's almost the end of the day. I figured they'd be, people would be not coming out so late, but I guess everyone had the same idea as me. So yeah, that's what's up, and I'll be sure to keep vlogging along. When you find a sale item you love, like this is on a really good sale, love it so much but they don't have your size. <sighs> Story of my life. This could just be God's way of telling me to stop. 
spending money, which that that seems pretty logical. <laughs> Definitely does. Lord knows I need to get my Planet Fitness membership back after Thanksgiving. <laughs> All the Thanksgiving eating, as you guys can tell. Maybe in 2022. <laughs> and I'm in Rue 21, the entire store is 40% off. And I'm getting some joggers because never enough. These look exactly like khakis, but they're joggers. Like, I'm so excited for that. So that's awesome. There's some other sweatpants. These are always very comfortable. So I'm gonna grab these, 40% off. All right, so I'm in Shoe Carnival now. I'm just getting this all done. Um, I told you guys that we were sponsoring a kid at the Tupelo Children's Mansion and they requested some Nike low top shoes or something. And these are on a huge Black Friday deal, regularly 60 bucks and they're $39.98. So awesome price, gonna pick those up. All right guys, so I went to Joanne's and I was looking at Cricut stuff and I found Cricut sticker paper, which was really exciting. It's on the Joanne's website. They didn't carry it here, but I found it anyway. So that was definitely a win. I was excited for that. Um, but it was actually really awesome. Um, this couple heard me talking about Cricut stuff. Um, I was on the phone with my mom and said, oh, I found the Cricut sticker paper. And they overheard me and they came out and said, oh, we're so sorry to interrupt you, but we just bought a Cricut today and we'd love to know what things we, were, we should get. And I gave them a pro tip that they should buy their Cricut cutting mats on Amazon. The generic, because they're a lot cheaper. And so like, good pro tip. And I heard them later after I walked away and they're like, I'm gonna go on Amazon and buy those. So it's so exciting to be able to help like, spirit of Christmas, helping other people out. It's been, I gotta say this Black Friday has honestly been really pleasant. Like almost everybody's been really chill and nice. It's been really, really cool. So I'm not sponsored by Fisher Price, but I think this is absolutely hilarious. Like. If you had your kids home during the pandemic and you were working, I think this would be so funny. It's a work from home office. So like as you're working from, or if you're even just working from home now, you know, if you're working from home and your kid's there, like give them this work from home set. I think that's hilarious. And it's 25% off. All right, so even the JCPenney was pretty much out of everything I wanted, which is maybe it's a good thing. I probably don't need more clothes. I did pick up a t-shirt that says feeling jolly this was $6.99 that is hilarious that's awesome and then I also grabbed I used to have this shirt a long long time ago but I have no idea what happened to it. I think I got like a stain on it or something or just like worn out because it was so old I washed it so many times I don't really know I think I might have donated it or something but I went ahead and picked up another one it was $8.99 I loved it back when I wore it so yeah shopping the night away I actually would have got so much more at JCPenney I saw several really nice shirts and like outfits that went together kind of deal um but they were just out of my size really they were out of so many sizes so apparently people have been shopping here today like crazy the phrase shop to you drop literally has a whole new meeting right now because I'm about to drop on the small floor <laughs> I'm so tired but there's deals there's just deals everywhere and I'm so excited. Now I went to American Eagle, which is like one of my favorite clothes stores. I absolutely loved one of the flannels they had. I would have picked it up, but it's not included in the sale, which is so stupid. So it's like 50 bucks and I'm not about to spend 50 bucks. So what's probably gonna happen is I'm gonna wait if it goes on sale later. He goes, I'm not about to spend $50 tonight on a flannel. It's, that's just ridiculous. So yeah, but I really loved it. And usually American Eagle always put everything on sale. Um, on Black Friday, not just select things, but this year it was only 30% off of select products, excluding like jeans and flannels. And the jeans were on another sale, like buy one, get one 25%. So if they would have done it with the flannels, I might've picked it up, but it's ridiculous. I'm not gonna pay $50 for a shirt. Like that's ridiculous. So anyway, that's not happening tonight, but I feel like I'm done. I mean, honestly, I don't know where else to go. <laughs> and. I don't really think I want to go anywhere else, so I think I'm gonna head on home and finish this up. So the mall maintenance, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the mall maintenance literally forgot to turn off the automatic lights. So now it's getting dark in here and at 8.30, all the lights are gonna shut off in the entire mall and they're open till nine. So fun. I'm getting out of here because I don't do pitch black. You guys, look at this. I can barely hold everything. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. I picked up an Icy too at Annie Ann's because I had to. I'm here, I had to. Okay guys, so I ran in Val's on the way out because it's right here by Dunham's where I came in. Yum. And I did pick up a couple things. Actually just one deal. She had this deal on these um, alcohol wipes. These were three for a dollar and they're 60 
per bucket. So I got six. Six for two dollars. I was good with that. Definitely. So yeah, Black Friday 2021 is done. Yeah, I mean at first I thought it was not very good, but especially at the mall, I almost didn't even come to the mall. I am so happy I ended up coming anyway. Like I'm feeling it, I am exhausted, but I'm so glad I came to the mall. I'm so, so glad I came to the mall because I found so many deals. For the things I couldn't find in stock in my size, I'm actually gonna go ahead and look online and see if I can find them. My parents said they would um, pick me up the thing from Dunham's, that sweatshirt. I actually told my mom about it already. I was like, I love this and they don't have my size. I was like, because they're looking for her ideas to get me for Christmas. I said, like, well, if you want to get me that for Christmas, I would love it. And she said, yeah, they could totally do that. So we'll check out Dunham's online or see if maybe some other store even has it for cheaper online because it's just an Adidas sweatshirt. So a lot of places sell Adidas. Um, and then the stuff from JCPenney, I might go ahead and check out online as well and see if I can get my size, you know, sent to store or something. So I'm really happy, but for the most part, I got everything I wanted. Um, American Eagle was a bust. I do really love that flannel. So hopefully they put a sale on it at some point, but if I don't end up getting it, you know, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Um, they're awfully, I like American Eagle, but I think it's stupid that everybody else put flannels on sale and they think they're too good to put their flannels on sale, but whatever, it's kind of annoying. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed following me along this Thanksgiving slash Black Friday. I had a blast. I, this was a really great, holiday it was awesome the shopping i gotta admit i do love me some black friday deals and the deals this year like i said i didn't think at first it'd be good but it was really really good um out there shopping so let me know in the comments did you guys go black friday shopping i'd love to hear what you were able to pick up and yeah that's all i got for today's vlog be sure to come back for vlogmas it starts next week starting next wednesday daily vlogging every single day starting December 1st, running through December 27th. So yeah, that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so, so much for watching.